What's up, everybody? It's Alexandra here today, and happy February. <laughs> well, you know, I'm a huge winter fan, and the weather is amazing today. So I think that after shooting this video, I'll take a walk because it's a crime to stay at home when the weather is spectacular and fabulous. But okay, this video is not about the weather. This video is about exams. And this video is the second part to my previous video because uh, in this video, I'm going to share my experience that I had with language cert because two days ago, I took their C2 mastery exam and, you know, I'm full of uh, emotions and impressions and today I'm going to share all of them with you. Okay, so in this video, I'm, I'll tell you about the organizational uh, points, about the structure and about the way how it all started for me, the way how I approached the exam. And I will also tell you about the exam itself, uh, share my, again, my impressions with you, tell you what I've discovered for myself and, uh, some, some other pieces of information that uh, can, can be useful for you as well. So if you're interested, stay with me and let's continue. <laughs> so let's get down to it. Okay, so I have some notes here so as not to forget uh, something. Okay, so I registered for my exam about a month ago yeah one one month prior to the exam and after i had done that i was immediately uh i immediately received all the necessary information there were two emails one email uh, so two emails because i registered for two parts one is writing listening and reading and the other is picking and the emails contained all the necessary information and the instructions about the exam itself uh, they uh, told me about the uh, best way to um, the best way to prepare where i can take the sample tests and how i can prepare what other options i can have if, if i decide that i want to receive my exam or whatnot also they said uh, they, they they just provided me with all the steps that i need to follow in order to uh make the exam procedure less painful <laughs> not painful okay <laughs> to make it run smoothly and without any technical issues and uh, actually it was quite good for me so i read it and i was really i was ready i knew what was there in store for me and uh, how i should uh you know deal with this um procedure how I should deal with this uh, technical side of the exam because again I'll repeat I'll just tell you again that this is an online exam and you take it at home and you don't have to go anywhere it's amazing really really great and uh, but on the other hand there is no one but you who is responsible for all this, uh, like from your side. So you manage all these technical issues from your point of view. So I mean, with your computer, with your laptop or whatever device you use. And that's why you need to be fully aware of how to deal with certain uh, things that may arise. Okay, so uh, the, to take the exam, you need to install a special app. You need to download it from the language cert official site. They give you all the links. You should need to download it and install. And they recommend that you install the app at least one hour prior to the exam in case of any technical issues like compatibility issues or like any other glitches that there may be so whatever so to make sure that everything is okay and you're dressed to kill <laughs> like techno technology wise okay just to start your exam without any techni tec uh, technical issues that you may encounter so but uh you know what i decided to do it a little bit later i did uh, sorry earlier uh, i did it not one hour before the exam but i tried this system try this app 
the night before the exam. And I was really happy that I did that because uh, uh, I, ha I just faced some issues that I needed to resolve. And that's why I do recommend that you do it uh, like maybe a day before the exam. So as to make sure that everything is okay and your laptop or your device is ready for, for it too, as well as you are, of course. Okay, so uh, now for the exam date. Uh, my first part was at nine o'clock, uh, 9 a.m. in the morning. And there was the first part, the longest one. So it's uh, listening, reading and writing. And um, so at eight o'clock, one hour before the exam, I started the app uh, and I prepared uh, to, uh, to access the exam room. Uh, so the exam room opened 10 minutes before, uh, before the exam itself. So it is done in order for you to read all the instructions and to have this overview of the exam room, to uh, familiarize yourself with all the functions and buttons they, that you may use, which you may need to use while, while you're uh, doing some tasks and whatever. And uh, you also need to take a photo of your ID. So you put your ID in front of your webcam and you take a photo. So make sure you have your ID prepared. So lying next to you on your desk. And uh, here is one uh, piece of advice for all my uh, Russian speaking friends, for the Russian citizens and all for those people who have not only the first name and the second name, but also have patronymic names or in like some middle names, make sure that your ID contain like shows clearly that what your first name is and your second name is. Because first I showed my driving license and there's uh, my personal information in both languages, Russian and in English, but there, there are two lines. First comes my surname and then comes my name and my patronymic name. And the person who I spoke to, the proctor who oversaw the process, who helped me, uh, I'll tell you about this person a little later, but okay, the person told me that, okay, so I see that your name is Alexandra and your my patronymic name. So this is what you will have in your certificate, I said, no, I don't want to have my patronymic name. I need to have my surname. He says, okay, Ben, that's why you need to show me uh, the exact, you know, like the exact name you want to have. That's why I took my international passport and I showed it because it doesn't have any patronymic name in English. So make sure you do like that. So as to avoid any confusion or if you don't want to have your uh, name misspelled or have a wrong name on your certificate. So it's essential. Okay, so uh, after I've taken the uh, picture of the ID or after you do that, here jo uh, here's the proctor joins in. The proctor, is the, the proctor is a person who helps you throughout the exam, who deals with any Techno technology, uh, any technical issues that may arise. And again, that's the person who oversees you, who observes you while you're taking the exam. You can't see this person. You can, you can you only see the chat box uh, in the corner and you can ask questions right there or even speak to this person, uh, but without seeing the person. But of course the person will uh, be looking at you because he has access to your webcam. Okay, that's it. So these are all the precautions and these are all the measures that they take. So as to make sure that you do not cheat. It's understandable. <laughs> it's obvious. Um, so when the proctor joined in, uh, he asked me to show uh, my room. So I had to rotate, take my laptop and rotate it and to show him, it was a man, that there was no one in my room, that I had no other materials lying somewhere in the vicinity, something that I could use uh, to cheat. Uh, and um, after that, the person uh, gave me some additional instructions about the management of the procedure, about the headphone set and whatever. And he also informed me about all the unexpected circumstances that may arise. And uh, as you may guess, the worst scenario is when you have 
uh, an issue with your connection because you may be thrown out of the exam room and so I thought that I would lose like all the answers uh, like all the information but uh, he said no so in case something happens for example there is a power cut there is a loss of connection or whatnot everything is saved and you can access the room again and you can start from that so you can go on with your exam without doing all the tasks again it's amazing so they have plan b and i guess plan c and you know what this is what happened to me while I was doing my exam. So I was in the middle of the exam. I was writing, I was doing a part one writing. I was writing, uh, it was a letter in part one for me. And I remember the moment that I was like proofreading or maybe I, I just got this amazing idea that popped into my head and then boom, everything uh, shut down. So my, because my laptop decided to reboot and I said like, oh, oh my goodness. So, okay, I've lost everything, but I remember that the proctor had told me that I need to come down fast and access the room again and everything would be okay. And that's what happened. So uh, after my laptop rebooted, I uh, opened the app again. I wrote to the proctor. He, um, uh, he um, let me uh, uh join the room uh, like he, he let me enter the room the exam room again and there was uh okay for me so i continued and nothing was lost maybe a couple of my nerves but it's okay <laughs> anything may happen so this is about the technical part of it and this is about the organizational uh about the procedure about the instructions and stuff so as you see everything is amazingly done and uh, you don't, don't need to worry because people are you know, a little bit skeptical about taking exams online see everything can be managed thank you 21st century <laughs> okay so uh as uh, now for the exam itself so the first part was listening so when you access the room when you're ready uh, for your exam the listening part starts here, you don't need to manage anything. So you don't need to start the recording, stop the recording, pause the recording. Everything is done for you automatically. You just listen and uh, uh, take the uh, correct answers. So you have time to read the questions, the statements, the tasks. Everything is good quality and you can see everything. You can scroll and everything is visible. You can zoom in or zoom out. And if you need to, it's okay for you. The uh, audio quality was amazing. Everything was great. So we had two attempts for both tasks. So, you know, we, I mean, like you listen twice to each piece of uh, recording, unlike you know, on the IELTS exam, of course. So everything was okay. So I did it and I was pretty, I had enough time to check. I had enough time to read. Amazing. So after that, uh, so it was, it took me about um, 13 minutes. After that, I could uh, go on with my uh, reading and writing part. Uh, the allocated time for these two parts is two hours, 14 minutes. You see, I told, I told you in my previous video that it's more than enough because I practiced at home and I realized that uh, I can do everything much faster and even have time to proofread. So it was uh, no big deal for me. And uh, I mean, like, two hours and 40 minutes is okay and you are not pressed for time. You're calm, relaxed and thank you language third for catering. Uh, to our needs <laughs> as, <laughs> as <a> candidates <laughs> but okay so uh all right uh in the in the reading part there are four subparts text so i approached them without any problems again i could scroll i saw everything and it was easy to navigate. I could, you know, skip one um, task and then return to it back later. So you are quite flexible. You can start with any task you like. You can uh, put a tick or just a sort of flag that you press and that indicates that you need to, for example, return to this task again or 
uh, double check or proofread or whatever. So it's amazing. Uh, and uh, again, when it comes to the writing part, I will never stop mentioning this advantage is that when you do the writing part online, it counts words for you. You don't need to waste time with word count. It's great. So I loved it so much. So, and in the writing part, I had the first, it was um, a letter uh, to the newspaper. And the second was, um, it was a story, kind of a composition a story about something about the price of fame, I guess. Yeah, about the price of fame. Uh, so, and you know what? I... I finished the exam 50 minutes before the end. So I had enough time to check, proofread everything. I spotted some typos uh, in my writing. So, and, um, you know, I didn't feel pressed for time. And I finished early and I had a break, a longer break before my speaking part. So uh, when you're ready to finish your exam, you tell your proctor that you're done, that you have proofread everything, that you're confident that you want to stop it. And uh, he gives you some other instructions about the app itself. He says that you need, to uh, you need to delete the set from your laptop because it's no longer workable. <laughs> it's no longer um, in use. And if I need to take uh, another exam or, for example, in my situation, it was speaking part to uh, speaking part, I needed to download this uh, app again. So as simple as that. Uh, then uh, uh, one hour, yes, yeah, so at, at 1 p.m. I had my speaking part. I came through the same procedure. So I downloaded the app, I checked for any glitches that uh, could be there. And uh, I also showed my ID, took the picture of it. And then uh, my interlocutor joined in. And in this situation, it was she used the camera because I need to talk to a person and see the person I am actually speaking to. And the interlocutor juggled, juggled both roles of the proctor and the interlocutor. So, and if there were any issues, uh, she, if, if there had been any issues, she would have helped me resolve them, but thankfully uh, it was okay, it was plain sailing after that. Uh, so, and then I had my speaking part. So she guided me, she guided me through it all and it was done in a friendly manner. She was really, it was a she a lady. Uh, she was very encouraging and participative and I really enjoyed it. And, you know, I have this um, hint, I, I, you know, have this, uh, take this role. Uh, I always uh, imagine myself like being a, um, an, uh, at an interview and as if I imagine that I'm given an interview. So like I'm a celeb and I'm given an interview and I really enjoyed the speaking part of it. Uh, so the speaking part took me 16 minutes and then it all finished for me. And um, you know what? I was, I was really um, pleased with the procedure and with the exam itself. I loved the way it was done. I loved the procedure itself, the organization, the support, the quality. I don't know, everything was amazing. And the, and the fact that I was at home, I was not worried about being in a, you know, in an unknown environment in a, somewhere uh, far away. Though I didn't have to commute anywhere. It's, it's brilliant, really brilliant. And it's, uh, I think it's a breakthrough in the, um, you know, exam, in the exam sphere that you can take exams online and um, it's, uh, and it can, it can be done uh, safe, uh, in a safe way. And uh, one more bonus is that they provide you with the results within three days after you've taken your exam. So it's been two days for me now. And I guess that today or tomorrow I'll get the results. Cool, amazing. You know, how, quick, uh, how quickly they work. Wow, 
I just do value that. So to sum up, my, uh, my perspective is the following. I think that language cert provides great quality exams that are, by the way, accepted by a number of established and well-known uh, educational organizations in Europe and in other countries. We need to check that. Also, I would recommend this uh, organization, Language Search, to my students and my colleagues because I, I tried it myself and now I see how it works and I understand that uh, it's been it's language cert is a, a real competitor is a real rival to cambridge in this and i do wish um you know i do wish success and in in the further development because uh they're doing amazing job amazing work so i'm looking forward to my results now and i've shared my impressions with you you see how thrilled I am and uh, you know I, I, I don't know there are a couple of uh, factors that have influenced my mood but anyway uh, the experience with language cert has been one of the most um, you know memorable <laughs> recently and I guess that uh, I hope that I will uh, continue you know, uh, maybe working or in some way, you know, no, communicating uh, with with them, like, because I, I'm really impressed. So everybody, uh, that's it for today. If you have questions or something to share, please uh, comment uh, down below, subscribe to the channel, ask me questions, write your feedback. And I hope that this video can be can turn out useful for you and you would like to uh, you will decide to try your hand at taking the exam an exam with language cert again have a nice day everybody don't forget to subscribe and bye bye see you in my next videos